Hello, my name is Joshua Brown from the interview training company, howtobecome.com. And in this presentation, I will teach you how to pass your United Nations interview. So if you have a UN interview coming up for any role whatsoever, then please make sure you watch this video from start to finish because I'm gonna help you to stand out and succeed. To achieve that goal, this is what I'll cover. I'll start off by giving you a list of United Nations interview questions that I strongly recommend you prepare for. I'll then provide you with example high scoring answers to those questions to help you to succeed. Plus, I'll also make sure to give you some essential tips for passing your UN interview before finally telling you how you can download further resources, including all of the answers to help you to prepare. And just very quickly, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I want to help you to pass your United Nations interview. And I can only do that if you are subscribed. And please don't forget to hit that like button because this tells me you find these tutorials useful. Okay, let's take a look at that first United Nations interview question to prepare for which is why do you want to work for the United Nations? Now this interview question is being asked to assess your motivations for wanting to work for the UN. They also want to be sure that your values align with theirs. So in your answer you must show that you have an interest in the work that the UN carries out, for example on global issues and making positive change. You need to also demonstrate that you have a strong understanding of the UN's work and mission. So here is a top scoring brilliant example answer to help Help you. Why do you want to work for the United Nations? I am highly motivated to work for the United Nations because it enables me to address global issues, have a tangible impact and contribute to a diverse and inclusive environment. This setting would broaden my perspective and improve my ability to effectively navigate intricate global challenges. The United Nations is a globally recognised organisation that plays a crucial role in addressing some of the world's most urgent issues, including poverty, inequality, climate change and conflicts. Working for the UN would enable me to contribute to these causes and provide a platform for which to make a tangible and positive global impact. The commitment to the United Nations to multilateralism, professional development, global influence and promoting peace and justice aligns precisely with my values and goals. For me, working for the UN is not just a job, it's a chance to be part of something greater and leave a legacy that endures. Wow, what a powerful way to impress the interviewer with that top scoring, brilliant example answer. Let's move on to the next UN interview question which is, what three values are most important to you and how do they translate into your work? When a applying to the UN, make sure that you review the job description and the values that they list on it. This is so important because what you can do then is match the values that they seek with your own values. So by aligning your values with theirs, you can demonstrate that you are an ideal fit for the role and you're an ideal fit for the UN's missions. So this question also allows the interviewer to assess your self-awareness and how your values impact your work. So let's take a look at a brilliant top scoring answer to help you. What three values are most important to you and how do they translate into your work? My guiding values which direct my work are integrity, empathy and collaboration. In order to uphold my integrity, I put honesty, openness and responsibility first. Due to my empathetic nature, I can actively listen, comprehend viewpoints and respond with compassion which promotes a positive work environment. Collaboration is essential because I appreciate other viewpoints, foster innovation and cooperate to come up with some novel ideas. My decisions and relationships and dedication to having a significant effect are all influenced by these three principles. Maintaining integrity helps me gain people's confidence and develop a strong reputation and relationship with others. I foster an inclusive workplace where people feel respected and empowered via the use of empathy. Collaboration enables sharing of information and solutions to challenges. Together these values foster an environment of confidence, compassion and teamwork that makes it possible to produce exceptional outcomes for collective goals. Now don't go anywhere as I still have more interview questions and answers to give you, but when you're ready, click that link in the top right hand corner. It will take you through to my website, howtobecome.com, where you can download my 21 United Nations interview questions and answers for all job roles to give you the edge in your interview, including the ones that we're covering right now. Okay, here's the next UN interview question for you. How have you resolved a problem within a team? You are being asked this tricky interview question for two reasons. Number one, they want to 
assess your ability to navigate challenges effectively. And number two, they want to know how well you collaborate with others to find solutions in a team setting. So the interviewer wants to hear about your past experiences that are relevant to this role. They also want to know about your ability to learn from challenges and your potential for contributing to collaborative problem solving within the UN. So here's a great example answer to help you. How have you resolved a problem within a team? When a key team member abruptly quit during a client project, we faced a major challenge. We lost knowledge and progress due to this departure, endangering our deliverables. Because of this urgency, I called a team meeting to discuss and find a positive way forward. During the discussion, we mutually reviewed the team member's impact from leaving and determined the precise jobs and responsibilities that needed to be transferred. I took on additional responsibilities that fit my talents and experience. I collaborated with other team members to give assistance and training ensuring a smooth transition and minimal project impact. Our team needed open communication, flexibility, and a shared commitment to project success to solve this challenge. We filled the team members' voids and maintained concentration, motivation, and momentum by working together. We overcame the issue, completed the job, and produced a high quality deliverable. This taught me the value of adaption, teamwork, and proactive problem solving in a team. It showed that obstacles are inevitable, but by working together, we can overcome them. I will implement this learning in future team settings to ensure that project success and team growth is always achieved. Okay, the next United Nations interview question is, tell me about yourself and the qualities that you will bring to the UN. Now, this interview question is one that frequently comes up as the very first interview question that you will have to answer in your UN interview. So this question is a great opportunity to start off positive, give a confident answer and be a standout candidate. So use this chance to talk about the skills and qualities that you have, not your home life or your personal life, unless it's relevant to the job role itself. Instead, focus on the experience and the passion you can bring and you have for working in the role and how you're going to add value to the UN in the job role itself. So a great tip here is to make sure you download a copy of the job description and focus on telling them how your skills are a perfect match for those key skills they list on it. So for example, if on that job description, they state they're looking for someone who's a team worker and someone who's hardworking and professional or compassionate, then make sure you use those exact words throughout your United Nations interview answers and showcase where you've demonstrated them previously in job roles. So let's take a look at a brilliant top scoring answer to this opening interview question. Tell me about yourself and the qualities you will bring to the UN. I am a highly motivated professional that is passionate about having a positive impact on the world. I have experience in this line of work and offer a range of talents and traits to this position with the UN. I am a strategic thinker who excels at deciphering challenging problems and coming up with original solutions. I can interact with stakeholders and successfully communicate ideas thanks to my great communication abilities. Because I value other viewpoints and value forming lasting relationships, I do best in collaborative environments. Among my talents are my organisational abilities and my capacity to manage various priorities. I perform well under pressure and I am adaptive in challenging circumstances. Furthermore, I support social justice and inclusion because I have strong commitment to the UN ideals of peace, human rights and sustainability development. In conclusion, I provide strategic thinking, effective communication, teamwork, organisational skills, flexibility and a deep commitment to the goal of the United Nations. I'm excited to support the organisation's objectives and strive for a better future for everybody. Wow, what a powerful way to kickstart your interview and be the standout candidate. Remember, by giving a confident answer like this to this opening interview question, tell me about yourself, or it may be phrased as introduce yourself, not only will you impress the hiring manager, but you'll also gain confidence in the rest of your answers to come. Okay, let's take a look at the next UN interview question to prepare for, which is, tell me about a time when you were part of a successful team. Collaboration is essential for the success of the United Nations missions and goals. So you must be able to demonstrate that you can work as a team to achieve a shared goal. My advice is to use an example of where you overcame a challenge as a team resulting in a positive outcome. And a really, really good tip here is to make sure you structure your answer using the STAR technique. The STAR method stands for S for situation. What was the situation you found yourself in? T is for task. What was the task that needed to be carried out? A is for action. What action did you take to achieve the task? And finally, R is for result. What was the end result for in your actions? So here's a great example answer to help you using that STAR technique. 
Tell me about a time when you are part of a successful team. The STAR method is a great way to structure your answers for all competency or behavioral style questions. So a competency question or a behavioral style question tends to start with, tell me about a time or describe a time or explain to me a time when. If you have any questions like those, I recommend you prepare using the STAR technique. So let's take a look at a brilliant top scoring answer using the STAR method to that question, tell me about a time when you were part of a successful team. During my time at my previous company, I was part of a successful team team delivering services to global clients. We had to regularly deliver to tight deadlines and face numerous challenges, but our collaboration and effective communication ensured our success. For example, one instance comes to mind where with barely two weeks till a client's project conclusion, the customer for whom we we're working for called us to make a number of critical revisions. Due to the uncertainty of our ability to finish the project on time, even though we wanted to make the adjustments for the customer, this put us in a very challenging scenario. It was our task to deliver the project for the client and I'm always determined to deliver the best possible service. Therefore, we came together as a team and made the decision to do our very best to finish the project on time and accomplish our goals with the revisions incorporated. To increase our chances of success, the rest of the team and I both made the decision to work on the weekends, holding regular team meetings and creating a plan that played to each other's strengths. Open and transparent communication played a pivotal role, allowing us to share insights, provide feedback and make informed decisions. I worked an additional seven hours each day over two weekends in a row alongside my co-workers, which had a significant impact on the project's production levels. We were able to incorporate the required adjustments and deliver the finished product on time, much to the client's pleasure, thanks to the extra work that we all put out to finish the project on time. I am a person who will invest a great deal to accomplish whatever objective I set. I'm driven, determined and will work tirelessly in my job role whenever necessary. This experience taught me the power of teamwork and I'm eager to bring this collaborative mindset to future endeavours. That is a brilliant example answer to that interview question. Tell me about the time when you were part of a successful team. Now, in preparation for your United Nations interview, I also recommend you prepare answers to the following questions. Why do you want to leave your current job to join the United Nations? What are your salary expectations in this role? Where do you see yourself in five years time? What is your biggest weakness? Talk me through a situation when you had to use effective communication or negotiation techniques to achieve an objective. Talk me through how you'd resolve conflict within a team. Tell me about a time when you had to make a really difficult decision at work. What do you hope to get out of this job with the United Nations? Have you ever been in a situation when you disagreed with a colleague on how to achieve a task? Tell me about the hardest team you've ever had to manage. Describe a time when something went wrong at work and you took control. Describe a situation you were in when you encouraged the team to be more proactive or positive. Describe a situation when you put the needs of a client or customer first. So the next thing to do if you'd like to download example answers to these and all of the toughest United Nations interview questions is to please make sure you click that button in the top right hand corner of this video right now, head through to my website howtobecome.com where you can download these slides and get access to 21 United Nations interview questions and high scoring answers to each question in a PDF guide. You can literally have access and the slides in your inbox within two minutes from now and it's guaranteed to help you prepare effectively for your interview and also more importantly importantly, put you ahead of the competition. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe as I'm on a mission to help as many people as possible pass their job interviews and I can only do that if you are subscribed. Please also hit that like button as that encourages me to make more videos just like these. If you have any questions regarding any job interview with the UN then please feel free to let me know in the comment section below where I'll get back to you with even more job interview tips and advice. And finally, don't forget to connect with me on LinkedIn. I've put my LinkedIn link in the description below. It's always great to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best with your interview. Have a brilliant day.